Hey, welcome to our scene on Dextromethorphan, represented by this Decker over here. There's a double Decker, we'll call him the Decker, and his parents died, so he's an orphan. So he's the Decker orphan. Decker orphan for Dextromethorphan. So Dextromethorphan is an antitussive, and that's why we have this Decker guy jumping on top of this tusk over here to help us remember that's an antitussive. And specifically, it antagonizes NMDA glutamate receptors. We'll call it the nomad receptors. And that's why we have this guy over here. He's antagonizing this nomad over here. And specifically, he's acting at the cough center in the medulla of this guy over here. See, this guy has a medulla over here, which is coughing. <coughs> and the double decker is acting on that area. This helps us remember that dextromethorphan acts at the cough center in the medulla. And dextromethorphan is a synthetic codeine analog. And that's why if you take a look, on him it says code E, code E for codeine. It's a synthetic codeine analog. Okay, what happens if you take too much of dextromethorphan? Well, let's take a look at this opera over here. He's saying, Opoid. Dextromethorphan in excess has mild opoid effects. But let's say you overdose with it. For that, you should take naloxone, represented by this ox over here. He's nailed into his head. Nailed ox for naloxone. And also, dizziness is also a side effect when taken in high doses. Sorry, I didn't mean to get you dizzy, I just wanted that to stick. And over here we have Sarah, and she's working on, on her tone. She's working on her tone. This reminds us of serotone, serotonin syndrome. Dextromethorphan may cause serotonin syndrome if combined with other serotonergic agents. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on dextromethorphan. Take care.